911. I need an ambulance. My son's not breathing. <laughs> He's white. How old is he? Oh, God, he's dead. Plymouth, Massachusetts. A provincial nest with a drug plague. So we see three acute overdoses a day, every day, at this particular facility. And a sister facility across town sees another three just in this one city. So six potential overdose, near-death events every day. Charlie and Jason, politieagenten and burger. Door the drug crisis, zijn ze nu in de eerste plaats hulpverleners. You know, it's not in the areas where you know people predominantly think there's issues. It's everybody. You know, rich. You know, middle class. It doesn't. There's no. Uh, there's no differentiation between it. They just. If you're hooked, you're hooked. Just last week, we had talked to a mother who lost two sons to heroin overdoses within a two-year period. And I mean, that's just one example. I mean, there's numerous families. Het aantal doden door een overdosis drugs in Massachusetts gaat naar beneden. Niet omdat er minder verslaafden zijn, maar door dit wondermiddel, Narcan. Elke politieman hier heeft het op zak. Het is een neusprei om mensen met een overdosis weer tot leven te wekken. Yeah, out of all the overdoses we had, close to 90% that Narcan was used, I believe they were all saved. Um, so I mean, you figure how many more people could die if we don't have the Narcan. Gisteren nam een vrouw van 34 een overdosis. Charlie en Jason gaan één dag later langs met een sociaal werkster. De camera blijft discreet in de auto. Ah, uh, this is Anne Marie from Project Outreach. I just wanted to talk to you about the medical incident you had yesterday. Yeah. How are you doing right now? Fine. I'm on Benzel, so when I do use, pretty much die every time now. Would you be willing to, to think about getting some treatment and trying to, to get clean again? Yeah, but, like, sure, I'll think about it. You did a great job with that, though. The drug epidemie ontspoorde door roekeloos voorgeschreven verslavende pijnstillers. I think everyone wish you could go back and say, is there something we should all have been doing differently? You know, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of uh, big pharmaceutical companies that are getting in the news. There are a lot of medical studies that people were using as the source of information which were fraudulent. And uh, I think anyone in medicine would agree that we are partners in what got us here. 200 doden per dag, 70.000 per jaar. De epidemie raast voort.